Hello everyone and welcome. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be walking you through just one really simple tool, uh, which is this Connect USD. It, it might be a little bit of a question mark in your mind because it kinda of isn't exactly obvious what it does. And if you use it incorrectly, it could actually be not something that's so good for you. So I just wanna show you how it works and some ways to work around using it, if that's what you would prefer to do. Uh, but I wanna show you also how to put this to use because it can be helpful to reduce your time in getting your files all set up again uh, when you're working with LiveSync. All right, let's, let's begin. So as you can see, I'm in LiveSync mode and I've got my file exported, and this is the exported file, and it's currently connected to my USD, okay? So um, that happens automatically whenever you export a file to Omniverse, okay? It's gonna connect right then and there uh, because it knows exactly where the original file was and where uh, the, the, the source file was. So let's say you were to go ahead and you know close Maya or something. So let's go ahead and don't save. I'm just gonna close everything down. Okay, so at this point we have Maya closed, and that could have happened for any number of reasons. Um, maybe it was the end of your day, or you just needed to do a different project, or whatever it may have been. Uh, you've left your file, and now you want to reopen Maya and reconnect to live mode. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through that process now. So let's launch Maya. And once launched, Let's reconnect to our Omniverse server. And now let's go ahead and open our Maya scene. Once our scene is fully loaded, we can go ahead and go connect. Select our USD that we want to connect to. Press connect. And now our file is connected and in sync. Okay, so that's pretty cool because we didn't actually have to go through the export process again, right? So we didn't have to export over our old file and let it automatically connect in that fashion. Uh, this is kind of like a shortcut to get to that connection, but there is a caveat to this, okay? And it's a pretty important caveat to understand. Um, the caveat is that the exported file, the one that's on the server, and the one that is in your local, so the one that your, your Maya file, uh, they both must be perfectly in sync, okay? So they can't be changed. You can't have worked on, my, on the Maya file and then expect it to update um, and vice versa. You can't expect that if you edit the online version or the, the Omniverse version, that it's going to sync to your local version if this gets connected. There is no way that it can tell the differences so um, unfortunately, this is kind of an at your own risk tool, but if you, you can mitigate those risks by simply making sure that nobody else touches your online file and nobody touches your Maya file, and whenever you do, you go through this process. And in that case, this can be quite a convenient little help, but you have to adhere to those kind of rules, okay? So, so your Maya binary and your USD file must not have been altered in any way before reconnecting to the files. Okay, so that's basically it. And hopefully this is a helpful little tip and maybe it gives you some information on this kind of obscure uh, little tool down here. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the future tutorials. Bye-bye.